How you feel about Lincoln Street's new look might depend on where you live. So if it's the street you call home, you probably like it. If it's a street you take home, maybe not so much. Here to explain is Denver 7's Patrick Perez. Drive up Lincoln Street near downtown Denver. You'll notice new and according to some needed changes. But the speed is the thing that bothers me the most. Nita Lynch has lived along Lincoln and Alameda for about 10 years. We love the neighborhood. And like many other places in Denver, it's gotten busier. This is residential and it's not treated like that. People and their cars treat it like a speedway. Thanks to a safety improvement project from Dottie, Lincoln's four lanes of traffic north of Ohio Avenue work differently now. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 7 p.m., the far west lane is a travel lane. Otherwise, it's a parking lane. And that caught some drivers like Deep Badesha by surprise this weekend. This isn't a bike lane. This isn't a bus lane. This is a parking lane. He thought the project would have added a bike lane or an actual dedicated bus lane, but more parking? He's not too happy about it. I think the frustration comes from the idea that it's become parking without any other way of movement on that street. But others, like uh, Brittany Spinner, It's been insane since I first moved here. Believe these changes will make Lincoln Street safer for everyone. Uh, parking is actually going to slow traffic down, which is much needed. It's also going to create a pedestrian barrier for all of the people that walk up and down Lincoln. The bus slash parking lane on the far east of Lincoln also got an update. RTD buses now have free reign from 6 to 9 a.m. and from 3 to 7 p.m. on weekdays. Any other time, it's still parking. If we're going to achieve the city's goal of getting to zero traffic fatalities, we have to make some serious changes to these streets like Lincoln and Broadway. Lincoln Street, after all, is on the city's high injury network. But change is hard sometimes, and it's even harder to convince people to ditch the car and take the bus. We're doing the best we can to find that balance between keeping people moving and, you know, keeping all commuters of our roadway safe. So keep this in mind the next time you travel through here. Patrick Perez, Denver 7.